Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to take this. Oh, Mr. Cuck himself. Hello. Look who it is. <laughs> Mr. Jason Love. How you doing, man? It was good. It was good. Uh, we're just doing a little podcast here and uh, figured that we would, uh, you know, have a little conversation with you to see exactly how all this was for you as well. This man is not, this kid, He can't be real, bro. Not only did you let your wife get pounded down by the BBC itself, you're doing a, you're interviewing your wife about her BBC experience with a nice little look on your face, and now Jason Love himself, the BBC, has entered the call, and now you three are having a three-way about how she got pounded down by that BBC. Well, You're not real. He's not real. I, he's not real. He's just not real. Definitely. So, is there? What's the vibe like between you guys? Anything I should know about? What fucking vibe, bro? I don't think there's a, like a really vibe. I think it's like a business thing. But I feel just very uncomfortable with this right now. I feel awkward. A little uncomfortable. Wow. Did you tell him how nervous I was? He wasn't nervous, bro. Chat. How y'all? <laughs> Now I think she had the wedding ring on. <laughs> I'll be so blown. What if she had her wedding ring on while she's holding that man's? Oh my god! I'm so nervous. Oh my god! I feel so wrong right now. I feel so wrong. Right you should feel wrong. It was bad. It's just work. Okay. But a lot work. of people have like a cheating fetish. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like the. the... I feel like you. These injury shoot people. Are... I'm just yeah, stop pausing. I've done in the past. Was I a little bit turned on by the fact that I was doing something underhanded? Or take take myself out of it, but like, if you're fucking a girl and you know she has a boyfriend and she's doing something wrong, that is kind of hot. Is it? A little bit. You see, he knows. It's kind of like the adrenaline. The adrenaline like, I feel know, so like guilty if, if I was the other woman. Okay, so Jason, give me a, a genuine review. How was it? You're not letting her rate your wife, bro. You're not letting him rate your wife, are you? You want like a, like a, a numbers? Game? Bro, if he gives her a 10, it's... <laughs> sounds like it could be hurtful, but if, you, if it's a high number, sure. It's like a four. Bro, look at her ask if she wants validation, bro. She did that She did that thing. She did that thing that women always do. She did that thing. She did that thing. She know, y'all know what she... I know what I'm talking about. She did that thing. Now you're going to give her like a nine. 100% nine out of 10. Oh my gosh, I do it, bro. I'm like, the king of this shit. She did that thing. Gonna give me like a four. Gives her a nine, Wait, bro. Nine You're... Out of ten. Who's a ten? Well, obviously her. Oh. Well, she. Well, it was a nine out of ten. I never, I never grasped, but entire... Obviously her. I ten before. It's like you gotta leave room for something that could possibly top the next one. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a nine then. That's fair. So take uh, a nine. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of people want to know. Uh, I don't know. Just like, if I should feel diminished as a yeah you should feel like a cuck you should feel diminished like you should really feel like i don't know if you're watching this probably not but you should really feel like a, like this is bad bro like i'm not i get you making money but why why is this worth it on that and if if now you got twitter publicly bash why is this not worth it how people should think about that in in the context of me being you know the the silent third party and all this well i don't know like if you look at it in the business aspect then basically it was just a job you know She's high up in her ranks. I'm high up in my ranks. Us two together, obviously, would make the most, most amounts of money. So it's not so much being a cook. If you're comfortable with it, y'all communicated it prior. Obviously, she said y'all did. So it's not really a cook situation. It's more of like two people coming and making an understanding. Yeah. You know, so if you cool, <laughs> then, then you know it is what it is. Basically, what he's saying is you cool getting your wife beat. I'm cool with it, too, because I'm getting paid to beat that guy. <laughs> Chat, I swear to God, I don't have, I don't have that in me, bro. It's not even about having any. Why do you want that to happen? Like, why do you want your wife? Why would you for one, you're dating a porn star? Off the rip, I'm never dating a porn star. That's just off the muscle, bro. But he's dating one. That should, that should, he makes enough money to where like she doesn't have to do that profession no more. It's not even a profession. What even is that? I don't even set a job for real. Mental maturity. Well, it would be kind of weird for you to find a dude bigger than you. Maybe. Oh my God, people. he didn't just say that, bro. <laughs> he's weird. Oh my God, she's gay. Back to Andre the Giant or something. Maybe you could get Brock Lesnar to come through and cut it up for you. But I mean, you're kind of like the biggest dude that I could think of. I don't know. It's gonna be tough for you to find a bigger guy. 
Look at the way he's like blinking and shit. Like he like what? Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, it's not just the size; it's everything that goes into it that makes it. You know. <laughs> Look at this nigga's face, bro. He's just so happy. Like, oh, you just beat down my wife. I'm just so. He doesn't. Chat, I know it eats him up inside. It just eats him up inside that <laughs> someone else was in the side of his wife. Shriveling up into a ball right now. I can see how uncomfortable this is making you. Yes, this is making me very uncomfortable. And I'm glad that he's only, you know, on Zoom and not here right now. Do you think that would be awkward? Yes. Also, I feel like I'd feel very a lot of sexual tension. And I felt like we would have to do a scene. Oh if you guys Chat. <laughs> she likes that BBC. That BBC. That BBC. Out of the blue, man. See, she's out of control now. She's on a tear. <laughs> on a tear. Hey, <laughs> you're cut, all right? She can do what she yeah, wants now. I'm gonna have to really mind you next time you're going to an adult event that he's gonna be at, right? No, but I would be turned on if you were there. Ah. Uh... Yeah, it's like you're part of it. <laughs> What's the fact that she's dating a cuck? So oh my god, these motherfuckers are weird. Go out to a party and we see him that there's a chance that we'd all end up hooking up after i don't know what his stance is this nigga really wants to like put a cap on it to make it seem like he's not a cut he needs to cap it like oh my god this is bad so you're gonna flip your wife wow oh wow good point yeah <laughs> i don't i don't care oh hell yeah i get it, I get it in regardless Damn, that would be, yeah, I can see that. That would probably kind of make me feel like I had put a cap on this whole situation if we all did it together. Wow, maybe that is the three-way that we should do, because that would be pretty viral rather than just some random guy, right? Yeah, it would be viral. Would be <laughs> Mr. Cuck himself in the corner. Hmm. Watching Jason Love beat down, down your wife. You arms have to tied one, behind my back or whatever. You gotta hold the camera okay. for one shot. And now <laughs> she's just egging that shit on. Bro, yeah, this what, nigga what is being... What do people need to know about not only is did you let her get beat down by another man bigger than you now she can disrespect you on the podcast okay jason bro. love since like you're kind of i i almost feel like a large percentage maybe even the majority of the photos that you're going to be taking over the next year or so you're gonna it's gonna be people saying like you're the dude who fucked adam 22's wife i don't know i mean i know you get recognized all the time but it's kind of an interesting scenario that you're in now right i got stopped on the street like Four or five times already. Normally, it's just to talk to me about me, but then it was like, oh, you no jump of wife. I'm like, he yeah, iced out for real, for real, though. Oh, my God. Yeah, I guess. Wow. Insane. Um, I like, take you with my wife, bro. Yeah, you're going to get more of those offers. <laughs> so there's more Adam 22. Chat, who is the biggest cut? Is it Adam 22, Sneak or Destiny, bro? You know how Adam, this whole situation, then you got Sneak who watched this girl get pounded. Then you got Destiny, who's in an open relationship. I ain't gonna cap Adam for sure, for sure. Sure, he gets that all. Adam is for sure the biggest cuck. Right. So if we do choose to have another kid, how am I gonna know it's mine and not? Oh my god, I can't. No, cut. What? What? Don't even (laughs) bring that up. Are you kidding me? Well, that's one of the good memes that people have been passing around. It's like me cuddling with your (laughs) belly, and there's a little black kid inside it. I hate you. I hate you so much. No, she don't hate chat. <laughs> that BBC. That BBC. That BBC. Shout out to Bilu, man. Um, is is BBC offensive? No, it's just a visual description. It's not you're just saying. It is what it is. This shit is sad, bro. It's what it is. It's not Th- that's what I'm saying. But I wonder if I get too comfortable with talking about black people shit because of the fact that like all my co-hosts on the podcast are black and stuff because I've seen some of these lily white fucking hipster bitches on Twitter just raging out being like BBC is offensive and I won't respond to them but I am thinking in my head like you have never been around black people besides getting fucked by them for your OnlyFans so shut the fuck up. That's kind of what's going on in the back of my head. I don't like using it because I feel like I just feel uncomfortable using it. At all. I don't care if you see a school bus and it's yellow. <laughs> you're like, where did you park? By the big yellow school bus. What the fuck? That's what it is. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, you know, it's just it's a statement of fact. And like, you know, in the real world, fetishization, I can see why that's a bad thing, you know? If you walk up to an Asian girl and you're like, Oh, I'm so turned on by Asian girls, I can see how that's like a bad thing. That's a terrible oh, analogy. Oh, this is like we are we are here to satisfy fetishes, right? Yeah. I don't know. And 
Right. Apparently, there's a cloak fetish yeah. what, what fetishization you, uh, coming up. Anything in the future that uh, we should know about? You're you're going on some trips and stuff for uh, for a, a, a brand, right? Oh yeah, well I'm going I'm going to Europe for about two weeks, but I did just drop my book. So. And you talked about beat down the end of the book. I know we did. Uh, Louisiana Slim, the family, about my my previous life before I got to adult. Really? Because I always wonder that when I see you with the tattoos on your face and everything, I'm like, I wonder what this guy was doing around town before he got into the porn game. A lot of things. When you, when you, when you come from poverty, you know, you got to make it how you make it. All right, ain't that the truth? Well, we're going to do like a full length. Money's not worth this, chat. I'm sorry, bro. Money's not worth this, bro. I know he probably made a whole bunch of money off Jason and beating down your wife. But is it really worth like going through like no being known as the online cup? Bro, that's not point, worth but, it, uh, bro. It's not, I bro. It's just not. My wife. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, he didn't just say that, bro. Oh my. I just can't, bro. I can't, bro. He's not real. He's not real. And uh My pleasure. Hey, I, I absolutely, I cannot hold it against you, my friend. Did you see it yet? I saw a few of the, the clips, and uh, yeah, I think you guys, you put it down. I'm not even going to get mad, but okay, bro. I believe it was mainstream, you probably went over. The way he's scratching his head right now. You're a loser. I didn't the idea to submit it for an AVN. I was like, I don't know. I feel like this might be crossing the line. Yeah, pound Town. You just left Pound Town. <laughs> I was going to call it the wedding gift. Wow. She's just disrespecting the fuck out of this thing. She does not care. <laughs> she loved that BBC. That BBC. The record is not literally your wedding gift, but it, it was something that we kind of like felt more comfortable with after the wedding and whatnot, right? It just makes sense. That's what everyone's latching on to. They just got married, you know? Mm. So. <laughs> All right. Mr. Love, appreciate you. Bye, Jason. Thank you. Bye, okay. Can you say bye to Adam? You? Felt a little uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, why? <sighs> I mean, seven years in this relationship, never look at a guy, dance with a guy, text back with a guy, nothing. And then I'm having sex with a guy. You know, it's just a lot to process. I'm been conditioned to believe it's cheating. There was it is cheating. We went to a, a dinner and there was bro, I'm done with this video, bro. These people are just so goddamn. Oh my gosh, these people are just. This is demonic shit, bro. I'm sorry. This is so demonic, bro. This is disgusting. This is nasty. This is just trifling. Bro, oh my god. Tell why I gotta be watching this shit, bro. What are we watching next, bro? I'm not watching this shit. Uh, uh, they throw rocks high, fuck the op slide, uh, uh, shots fire, not a cop's flying, fuck a stop sign, reaper lock eyes.